Welcome back to Adobe InDesign CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover master pages, how to work with master pages, how to create them, how to do it, what they do, essentially. So um, I'm opening up the current document, which is one I'm working on before. I'm in the Essentials workspace, as you can see here. And I'm going to click on the Pages menu. And here are all my pages. So I've got 10 pages. If I double click on the numbers, I can go to any of these pages, you know, um, which is great. You know, I can just double click, double click. And what I want to share is why are master pages important and what the whole deal is about them. By default, we have a none master page up here and an a master page. We're going to learn how to create new master pages in just a sec, but I want to show you what is the whole purpose of it. So first of all, what if I want to drag a guide here and drag it down on this first page and release? And so I want this guy to be on all the pages. So I'm going to double click on the next page here. And what the heck? The guide's not there. What's going on here? I double click on the next one. It's still not there. Double click on the next one. And even the last one. And it's not on any of these pages except for the first page. So any of these pages that you're working on, uh, if you create any, any objects, any guides, anything at all, text, frames, uh, images, It'll be done for that specific page. So I'm going to delete this just by selecting and hit the delete key or the backspace key on a PC. If you want the guides or whatever text, images, and so forth to be on all pages, you have to choose the master pages. So uh, I'm going to double click on the A master pages so to open it up. And by default, it's it's a facing page because we have facing pages throughout. If you had just a single frame, a uh, single page document, you just have a single page, a master page. Um, so what I'm going to do is just drag a guide and drag it down here to about here. And you should see on each of these now, if I double click on this one, double click on this one, all of them have that guide, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to double click on the a master page. Now I'm going to draw a text frame. Uh, I'm going to drag it in here. And I'm just going to type the letter F. I'm going to highlight it and what I'm going to do is change the point to maybe like 150 points here and so it's visible here's the F and you can see in the little preview the F's have populated throughout so if I double click on this one there's F in fact on the first page and the second but these all have it in the second page so if we double click on any of these it's always on the second page so by default the first page always gets the same attributes what you can do to get rid of that is you can assign a none uh, to that. So I can drag this one um, to this one. And as soon as I drag and drop, you'll see that basically that attribute has disappeared. So now each of these have the Fs. Now on these pages, I can't select it. There's no reason to select it. But what if I did want to make one more unique than another? Well, I can hold Control Shift or Command Shift on a Mac and click and now that individual F on this page is unique. I could move it around if I double click out and I double click on any of the other ones they're all in the same location except for that first one. So once you create it if you want to modify it you can hit control shift and click or command shift on a Mac and then you can move it around. You can even delete it and it won't be on there anymore. Um, if you want to bring back the attribute to that page all I have to do is select the page, so I'm clicking on it in here in the pages, go to the flyout here, little widget, and go down to override, uh, so master pages right here, and go down to remove all local overrides, and that will be just for this one page. So once I click on it, boom, the F appears again. Notice it didn't come back to this one because I didn't have it selected. All right, so we get the idea. The master page allows you to create things that are in all the pages. What if you want to have another master page? Well, if you click on this guy here, you can go down to New Master. And we can choose, by default, the prefix will be B, which makes sense. This is A master, the next one will be B. Um, you can give it a specific name, but I think the master makes sense. Um, you can click in here, and uh, you can have it based upon something. So if you wanted the F automatically added to, um, and the guide automatically added to it, you could do that. But I'm just going to leave it based on none. It's going to have two facing pages, same size, so the tabloid 11 by 17, same orientation, and just click OK. So in here, you can see we're now we're on the B master page. So let's add something unique with that. So maybe I'll add um, 
just a rectangle and I'll draw it out here and add a fill for that rectangle um, that is this sort of red here and click out. So now I have this. Well, if we double click on any of these, you'll notice that none of them are assigned that red because they are assigned to the red master page, not the B. So what if I want this side to be B versus the A? Well, all you gotta do is you can drag this and drop it onto the B, onto the A, and it will have that attribute. So um, if you drag it on there, but the problem is it's on the right hand side, so it's not gonna show up. So let me bring this over to left, and now you'll see it, it's on here. It says B and it's on the left hand side. So it still does the orientation for both uh, based upon which one you're selecting. So any of these I can do that too. I can drag and drop it on here. Uh, you can even go down to, let's see, right click and then there should be a master pages options here. So, um, and here you can apply masters to pages. So you can open this up and you can apply B master to several pages. So, um, if I want, I can click in here and say all pages, or I could say uh, letter V, or I could just type in the number. So if I want this to be one comma uh, three comma five comma seven uh, and comma nine, it'll assign them all and I just click okay. And just like that, every page has been assigned to it. Uh, it looks like I didn't get the one, oh, I do have the one applied but I have that override on here. So in order to remove that override, I have to select again, um, just the, a, the B here, click on this little widget here, go down to um, uh, master pages. Uh, oh, it is, it is undone. Huh. Oh, I have none assigned to that one. That's right. Um, but now it's set to B. How come it's not showing up? Hmm. So I don't know why, but this one is um, working differently. It it's, uh, might be a bug in the program, but as you can see with this B master, the first page, I moved it over to the right and it's now showing up on the left, where if I move it over to the left, it disappears, but it shows up on all these, which is very peculiar behavior. So what I would probably do with this instance is make a separate master page just for page one and again you could base it upon this page so if you want it to be the same you could do that and then just move it over to the right instead of the left uh, again i think it's some sort of bug i don't know exactly what's going on here but anyways that's how you work with master pages you can add them you can delete them again if i want to delete all the b master pages i just select it and hit delete and it will say you want to delete anyways you click ok and all those b's go away and you're still left with the a's so i can double click on each of these and I still have the A master page set up on here. So that's master pages, working with master pages, how to add them, how to delete them, how to modify them in Adobe InDesign CC. See you soon. Cheers.